for you to give me you. And I don't know what you're dealing with in this place today. But right now, this is what the, God, the Lord is saying.
man of God. You serve an awesome God. And if you have your Bible and ask you to turn to the book the fourth chapter. Stopped 
I said, let me share with you what the Lord told me to tell you. And I began to talk to him and told him that your case is already done. Because I was listening to God talk to me. And as I began to talk to me, say, that's nothing but a confirmation. He told me, he said, I went to, to court and he said, there was one charge that Lord had mercy. Right? He said, there was one charge that I was worried about and it was a conspiracy charge. And he said, when I went to trial, that's the charge that I beat. He said, I'm not guilty on the conspiracy. Here this guy is about six foot two. And instead of them leaving, letting him go, they hold him with a hung jury. I know y'all think I'm coming to talk to you about him, but I did. They hold him with a hung jury. Everybody say not guilty, but one. He's six two, and the person says that the witness, the witnesses said that the victim or, or, or the culprit or the one that committed the crime is five six or whatever. That's a distinct difference. He said, the Lord allows me to be in here for change. He said, I'm all right about it. He said, I dream coming home, preaching and praying. And I said, you coming to because I was here for God. And he said, what I have received in here is I received the love of God, something I never received in 37 years. He said, I grew up as a hoodlum because I wasn't loved. And he said, now that I have experienced the love of God, he said, I can tell somebody my story. <laughs> Lord have mercy. He said, Lord have mercy. I know y'all think we preach about him, but we're going to talk about Jesus. He said, I told kids, I told boys, I told little girls, you don't get caught up in the cars and, and the girls and, and what I'm driving. He said, because this ain't going to work. And when he said, I was trying to give them a message, but I ain't had nothing in me. I said, let me show you what the Lord told me to tell you. I said, you know, he said, you know, I lost everything. I said, that's good. I did too. He said, my car, my money, he said, I'm broke. He said, that's good. I said, I did too. That is good. That is good. I said, but let me tell you about that car. I said, sometimes we will paint the outside of a car. I said, sometimes we'll sit a little high. You know, they sit a little high. So everybody can sit. You know. They put the flashy reels on so everybody can see them. And I said, most of the time, we don't go up under the moon. I said, now God has dropped an engine in you. Lord have mercy. And what the Lord said, Terrence, he said, Terrence, what I need to do to my people, I need to release my anointing in them. Because they look like a pretty car. They're going down the road because they got tires on them. They go, it's computerized, but, but they don't really have an engine in them. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, tell us, I need to release my spirit in them. So they won't just look good, and they won't just look like they got power, but they'll have some power. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. This word fresh starts meaning to start something again. The expression is used when things have not, somebody say have not, been going so well and the person wants to change their situation or their condition. So if you was to tell me that I'm looking for a fresh start, what you're asking God is, God, I need you to press the reset for me. Yeah. And I'm not really a, 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 a video game person. But what I found out that when children are playing the game and they're not winning, they immediately press reset. 